true story. In back of my Honda Accord, when OJ caught that case, they wrote, "What would you do in the back of my car?" They were they they, they were right in my back of my car, and the three of us <laughs> is rolling. And they, "What would you do?" And they coming up with the song, and I said, "My Honda Accord," and OJ inspired that song. What would you do? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. I think I want to ask, I want to go back to Trey D. I didn't get that out of you about him and Snoop's fallout and right. you know just them basically. Um, then his his place getting shot up, shot up. I need some. What was going on at that time? And if the, if he was with you, I I mean Trey D. Basically, you said they all came and y'all all would be like family. Trey D. Was family. how did they end up falling out? I think it was over money, you know, because business practices were not run right at that point you know yeah. and I, I you know with trey he uh, trey d he doesn't bother anybody he's 100 percent about his business and yeah. i wasn't there when that happened but you know this it was over money it had to be about and money this boy wanted to eat because it's kind of hard when you're around people that are eating good and you barely getting by like when you see the straight out of compton part of the movie and i worked on that and i just remember that scene just reading that scene and you driving away in the bins and eating well and steaks, and we barely getting home. That's how Trey D felt. Mm-hmm. He was coming from a place he didn't. He so, just wanted to eat. When so were you talking to, when his place got shot up? Were you talking to Daz at this time? And how was that? Daz, I mean, <laughs> Daz just found everything funny all the time. I mean, you know, everything <laughs> was just funny. You know, he'll, he'll exaggerate it. You know, he Daz for the most part because you know he still. In Long Beach, he kind of stayed out of that. I mean, that's yeah. his cousin, but then he's still his roots are in Long Beach. So I think Daz and Corrupt during those times, he let the homie love came in. Like we got to stay out of it, you know. But you got to think about it though. He did murder was the case and all these different things and mm-hmm. uh, a, a gangster party yeah. with Tupac. You yeah, know? Uh, that was that was Daz, right? The producer Daz production produ- of that. Daz produced like maybe seven songs on there. So how was it? How was it when 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 Pac comes? Tupac comes out of jail. Uh, I don't even know. I think Suge got him out or something. I, he sure I'm, did. I'm a, Suge went and got Tupac out, and he signed the death row, and, and they come out with California Love. It looked like these niggas having a great time. He, he How was out. that whole situation when you first met he, Pac? He got him out. So first off, Daz was writing Pac while he was in jail because he, okay. would, he would write, and I remember I was sent off the letter. And... um. Pac got home and you know we were all so excited we were we were genuinely excited we were I don't know how the top tier felt because we didn't you know this big dog they putting all this money in his yeah coming. yeah yeah but Daz they're both Gemini's I mean him and Pac so Daz was excited and then Pac knew this guy was writing him so I, I see a list of producers he wanted on his album. Of course, Daz is one, and maybe LT Hutton, and maybe Battle Cat, and um, you know all those guys. Um, it's feeling good at this point. Pac is home, but then he's moving people out the way, and you kind of see the shift. Like, like Dr. Dre, he immediately got out of there. That was yeah, his opportunity. He, I, he wanted to go. I mean, that was funny though because he was like Dre, Dre, Dre uh, without old gay ass Dre or something during that time. This is what yeah. Pac said. Yeah. You remember this time, like, but before that, he was rocking with him on California Love, and they like they were having the best time. But this damn Pac could flip it in a minute, right? Yeah, he was rolling with you know Shook's thing. Dre yeah. was gay. Dre's a but good guy. But I know guy, I'm just saying you know? the way he was yeah. he was riding. Yeah, I mean he gonna ride, and that's what you do with your homie. <laughs> yeah, I'm riding with my homie. Mm-hmm. I didn't, uh, Easy E when he would do Tracy wrong. I'm on his head. I heard the interview when y'all I'm was on, on that head. radio station. What was I'm that his, all about? It, I mean, well, they you called was to crazy. Him, but, I, you, yeah. That was the young you. You ain't telling so they say you came. Like, how do you easy? He 30 years old. Don't matter how old I am. You just get straight with Tracy. That's what you need to do. Now, you need to get on some other stuff because we talking about what's real. Yeah, I want to, I want to smoke because <laughs> you did my girl wrong. You out there on my own. How do y'all get on the radio at that time, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? We trolling. We Like, y'all called him like, yeah, nigga, we better get at this nigga right now. We called. They gave us a number. We called, and we wanted it all. We were in the studio. He was just on the radio just talking. He just on the radio, and I'm just like, you old nigga, you this, you that. I mean. You were going in. (laughs) 
I want it because you mess with my Tracy was my best friend at the time. You're gonna play her, so now I'm gonna get on your head. Yeah, Dad's was with you though. Yo, he was he down with it. it. He gonna come. Dad's my. Let me tell you something. Me, it, true story. In back of my Honda Accord, when OJ caught that case, they wrote, "What would you do in the back of my car?" They were they they, they were right in my back of my car, and the three <laughs> of us is rolling. And they, "What would you do?" And they coming up with a song, and. I said, my Honda Accord and OJ inspired that song, What Would You Do? Would you do what you do if you could fuck with me or my crew? But you can't, so don't even think about stepping in the motherfucking house. Dope. That's dope. That's a hell of a story, you know. In the back that of my song car. was jamming like hell too. Did you even re you was like, damn, when you heard it, you like, I know when they did God, that. I love that dog food album. Oh my God. I just remember all the moments in the studios. And I remember it was a couple hooks that dad said, this sing this part with the, everybody else in there. You know, anybody in the studio, you gonna get down. You might have to sing. We might need your vocals right quick, you know. Oh, he might tell you that. Yeah. Anybody. Were so, your vocals on any of them? It was them? something. It, I think uh, it was one of the songs. And I remember he's, it was like uh, everybody was there. And it was this. it wasn't singing, but it was just talking. And it was, it was a whole bunch of people. And I remember I added my little thing. I never really heard it, but... You know, he, he was in I the was mix. there. That's in the mix. <laughs> he was in the mix. That dog, dog, food, that dog food album went crazy. Man, that was the, woo, that's when it took off. I'm like, woo, the sky was the limit. It was almost mm. like like Snoop Dogg. What was Snoop Dogg's album called? That was Doggy Style. But dog, after Doggy Style, that was after Doggy mm -hmm. Style, and that whole went crazy. Then it was actually to me, I liked it better than Doggy I Style. I loved it way I'm you, better. I can still bump I that. I love this that whole project because it seemed like Snoop got to do what he wanted to do. It seemed like family. Am yeah. I right? Yeah, Dad's put his foot in there, and he did his thing. Corrupted. They were all thing. kicking it, man. Oh. It was family oriented traveling they got their own little promotional tours it was about them yeah we on boss talk 101